So, today we have the Party Boy Ale. Let's bring this uh, full screen. Party Boy, you can see the dude is wearing a space suit. This is a, uh, what is it you call it? It's a, a Brett fermented, Brett, that's a type of um, ale, uh, yeast, I think. IPA style beer. It's a nice big one. 6.2% uh, alcohol, so I should be getting a little bit, but not too much. Uh, how's the audio, by the way? I hope the audio isn't clipping. Would I buy stock in SpaceX? That's a very good question. I don't know. Uh, I'm not really a person that plays the stock market. I tend to just put cash in a, a low, uh, low fee index fund, which apparently is what, uh, you know, that other smart guy does. <laughs> Woo! Sorry. I inhaled my beer. <laughs> Is this escaping? No. The beer is just wanting to escape. No, I, I was just very disappointed. This thing is just overflowing. Mm. It is kind of tasty. It just keeps coming! The problem with the head is that I have to sit this on my desk and I don't want my, my desk to get covered in sticky beer. Look at that. That is beautiful. Man, if only the flickers were things. Yeah. Came. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay, well that's going to be a problem. I am going to disable pitch on this because I don't want to have... Oh, okay. I need to slow down. I can't, I'm trying to pitch up, but this thing, when it pitches up, it it rolls regardless. Okay. Okay. Anyway, man, I, I'm sorry. This is just starting to crack me up here. Wait, I must have. I have a coaster. What a genius idea! Like a coaster or a beer mat. My god, genius. That should save me. Okay, there we go. Okay, so this thing should fly now. I should throttle back a bit as well. I think it needs to turn a little faster, but it's nice that we have bigger wings that makes it look a little more like the, the thing from Battlestar. Do you think having the nozzle based on the Brachista Crone will cause the exhaust to come out faster? You know what? The... I am not an expert on nozzle design, right? Obviously what we talk about is the De Laval nozzle, which was... Uh, it, it's really designed around a certain expansion profile, and honestly, I am not enough of an expert in rockets to know anything about this. Despite making a video on the subject, that was a video from somebody that only barely knew what he was talking about. Let's see if we can fly through this. Oh! <laughs> wow! That was an awesome crash! Holy moly! That is, that is one... I can't maintain altitude. This is, this is crazy. I have to have, like, such a high attack angle here. At this speed. Oh. Let's try flying it through the thing. Nice. Oh, beautiful. So you see that I have actually been working on the docking bay there, right? Okay, so we've got to right click on this and decouple the node. Okay, and it's a little off-center here. <laughs> now the question is, can I arm the accelerator, start the countdown, so the countdown starts. Oh, switch over to it. And I thought I had a crew member in this, but apparently not. <laughs> nice! Well, the launch accelerator worked pretty well. <laughs> um, high speed achieved G-force. 
146 million G's. It's the final countdown. Here we go. It's just balancing on the middle there. Come on. <laughs> well, that didn't work nearly as well as it did previously. Let's see if it'll work. It it worked so well earlier, but it looks like I'm actually pinned between these. Whoa! <laughs> Come on. Oh, yeah. I did start to pitch up there for but a second, but it needs a bit more work. <laughs> Whoa, there, look, look, it's now flying. Woohoo! Uh, let's actually disable all of these here. Okay, you see, that's a little bit, it works a little better now that I've disabled all that. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the mass is entirely coming from that cockpit there. Let's aim for the runway. Let's see if I can actually make it to the runway here. I'm probably going to run out of uh, electricity before then. Oh, come on. Oh, look at that. Brilliant! Brilliant, I tell you! Okay. That's starting to look like a Viper launch tube, right? Here we go. Gonna turn this off. And... Oh, look at that! <laughs> uh, engines aren't starting. Uh, activate engine. <laughs> this is not the liftoff I was anticipating. What, what the hell is going on with these here? What do these things think they're doing? What do we do again? One, there, it just drops down. And I then activate arm accelerator start countdown. And we're sitting here. And as soon as this goes, we have to press G. Yes, excellent. It does appear to have some frame rate issues, let's say. Oh yeah, cockpit, that's what I wanted to do. Oh! <laughs> There's the runway! Okay. Well, apparently my thing survived. Do I have wings? I can see wings there. Okay, let's see if I can hit the Battlestar Galactica thing. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we get some loading glitches. Wait, why is that the thing that I'm following? Where's the other bits? Look, it's brake dancing. Engine. Oh, that's still going, but that's not. <laughs> Brilliant! That was so cool. Now we just need the sound effects. Arm accelerator, fire accelerator. Oh, that's better. Yeah, you know what? I think it was just simply that I didn't have enough electrical power. 
So I left the accelerator at, you know, 200 meters per second and, yeah, pretty much dropped me down so I'm going to fall towards the planet and die. See? That's good. I mean, in a kind of... Actually, it pointed me retrograde, so I did way better than that. I like the fact that I'm actually going beyond escape velocity here. Oh, actually, I've now, uh, I'm now dropping, I'm now flying like a plane. Temporarily. I actually have engines on this thing, so I can fly it. I hate flying on Duna. There's, like, no atmosphere or anything. So, yeah, what we need to do is have it falling into, uh, we need to have it falling into the atmosphere and then firing, right? So what we need to do is have engines on this to slow it down. Engines and attitude control systems, right? Nice. This is a very... This is part of the Battlestar Galactica launch tube system that I'm testing. I've already enabled infinite fuel. Oh no, I'm well past the infinite fuel enabling stage. So I'm now starting to... I'm bringing this thing down, so it'll hopefully bring the periaps down inside Jules' atmosphere, and then I can fire it during re-entry. That's my plan. <laughs> there we go, look. The orbit is dropping. This thing is only flexing just a little here. That does not look stable to me at all. So I slowed the orbit down. I think this, look at this, this is truly fascinating. What is this? What is it? Okay, so we're going to hit the atmosphere soon. Oh, and you know what? I'm going to hit F5 here before we hit the atmosphere. <laughs> and actually what I'm going to do is you set stability assist rather than anything else. Oh, and that's us hitting the atmosphere. So, I guess I want to try this launch system. So, can I arm it beforehand? No. Uh, now, one. Arm accelerator. Start countdown. Gear. Oh. Gear. We're going to launch during re-entry. woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Yes! Brace for turbulence. This is, of course, totally unrealistic because the, uh... <laughs> We're going to lose this thing. I've realized that I now want to turn this thing around. The, the, we would normally die just due to the overheating here. Oh, uh, yeah. I, the Conan the Barbarian movies, gonna gonna just say, the cinematography on those movies are amazing. And I still think that they should make Conan the King with Schwarzenegger. Like, because he could be an old guy. Oh, yeah, no, Conan as a barbarian, I mean, it's, it's, he's not dumb. People who think that barbarians are dumb are the kind of people that get their, uh, you know, have their empires crushed by barbarian hordes, right? I, I still want to find one of these white dots and investigate it. I hope we end up near one of them. I gotta say, this, the, with the, the red, this actually looks red here. Is that... Like, see that? Because of the green, these things actually kind of look red because the white balance has changed in my... I think that's just an optical illusion because everything here is so green. So yeah, I think I'm going to try and get to one of those things. 100 kilometers up. That's the closest one I think I can see here. 
Oh, wait, there's one right below me. Wait, I should just go straight down. Stop, stop, come back. Come back. We're just going to go straight down to this thing. Why fly when I can go straight ahead? I want to know what this white spot is. Okay, I should probably start p trying to pull out of this dive. Oh yeah, totally pulls out of this dive. So I think I want to circle my way down rather than hitting the ground at high speeds. This is actually having a really hard time doing anything but falling now. Oh, come on! I'm trying to pull upwards, but it, it's just stuck in this dive here. Oh, how about I give myself some more control authority here? There we go. Give me more authority! Respect my authority! Oh, those are already maxed out as well. Oh, uh, the hexagon is... That's it right there, yeah. It's just, it's become much more faded. But it's definitely there. See that? I tell you what, you know what it is? It's the power of the hexagon. It's pulling us in. Let's just EVA out of this. <laughs> What's going to happen to the thing? It's going down below. So what will happen is this will start going negative. And then at some point I'll bounce and the game will probably freak out. And then maybe I'll die. There we go. Negative, negative, negative. Things exploding. Instant destructify destructification. So we're below the surface here. And we died at 250 meters. And that's it. That's it, guys. Guys, I'm sorry I wasted far too much time doing this. I'll see you all next time. I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe. <laughs>